Hey guys, this is Chandler with Red Arrow Industries. Today I'm going to show you how to create a quick and easy white flash transition using Boris Red, similar to what you would see in film. So we have two shots here. The first, a guy is using a printing press, and the second is the finished product. So we're going to put a white flash transition in between the two. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go up here to your effect palette, go to Boris Red, and put a Boris Red transition filter on the cut. Open up your effect editor and down here set the time of the transition to 20 frames. So shorten it up a little bit, make it look a little better. So now launch your Boris Red interface. So here you'll see we have two video tracks. The first one, which is what you see now, is the first shot. The second one is the second shot. The first thing you want to do is on video track 1, drag the last keyframe to 10 frames, which would be the middle of the transition. This will just create a straight cut from the first shot to the second, which is basically what we had before. So to create the transition, first add new filter, colors and blurs, color correction. Then you want to create a new keyframe using control N at 10 frames or right on the cut. So at this keyframe, we're going to go up to brightness and push it up till it just about blows it all the way out. That looks good, right about 70. Then make sure you change your interpolation to linear. Now jump back to your first keyframe, make sure brightness is at zero change the interpolation to linear. Finally, go to your last keyframe, do the same. Make sure it's zero, change interpolation to linear. So now we'll drag through this. See, it blows out, comes back. The thing about this though, is it's really just turning the gain way up, which is gonna make your video look grainy. So to get around this, we'll add another filter. And a new filter, colors and blurs, and add a Gaussian blur. Do the same thing, add a keyframe at 10 frames right on the cut. Go up here, horizontal blur. This will actually change both the horizontal and vertical axis because I have lock blur on. So let's turn it up to about 50. Just like with the color correction, change interpolation to linear. Go back to your first keyframe, change it to zero, because you want it to start with no blur. Make sure the interpolation is linear, which it is, and do the same for the last keyframe. Zero, and linear. So now we'll drag through this again. And that blur kind of hides the graininess there. So that effect is done. Go ahead and hit apply. Now let's render the effect and watch it. The other cool thing about this is you could pull up your effect editor and drag this plugin into your bin. Let's rename it white flash and then you have that saved in your bin so say I remove this drag it from the bin put it back on there there's the same effect again that's pretty much it guys quick and easy if this tutorial was helpful like and subscribe to our channel if you have any other tutorials you'd like to see put them in the comments you can visit us on Facebook at Red Arrow Industries or go to our website at redarrowindustries.com. Thanks for watching.